Hey what's up, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial and in this video I want to show you how you can use the perspective warp tool inside of Photoshop to make certain objects like waterfalls or mountains bigger. And I think this will be quite useful since over the last couple of years I saw more and more landscape photographers taking advantage of this method. So as you can see I have opened up this mountainscape image inside of Photoshop and now I want to make those mountains in the back a little bit larger. So all I need to do is go to edit, click on perspective warp and now as you can see when looking in the upper left corner we are now in the layout mode. That means we simply can create a grid by dragging our mouse over the image and when creating this grid it's important to include all the objects you want to enlarge inside in one of those grids. Like you can see here I have two grids, one for the left side of the mountain range and one for the right side. And once you're done creating those, just fill up the rest of the image with grids as well and always make sure that those are connected with each other. As you can see they will snap together, so that's not a big deal. So I'm just filling up the rest of the image connecting everything and once that's done I'm switching from the layout mode to the warp mode and this is the part where you can enlarge your object. You can simply click on one of those dots and then just move it around, make it bigger or smaller. And the perspective warp tool is really doing a great job at distorting the parts of the image. And of course, once you're done, just hit the check button and Photoshop will do the rest for you. And as you can see in the before and after comparison, the results look really, really good. And you can't really tell that there's anything distorted inside of the image. Of course, I wouldn't suggest to go overboard with this tool, but this is really super helpful, especially if you want to make mountains a little bit more dramatic or just bigger, since they sometimes just appear to be a little bit smaller than reality when you're using a wide angle lens, for example. So I hope this quick Photoshop tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.